Okay, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams, and I had to have them, sis. All fab here. I just had, we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes she fan, expensive breeze, good time. Wise hole, serious? <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get things started. I really should have recorded this yesterday, but I had company yesterday. If my shirt looked weird, it's because I'm wearing it backwards, baby. It is an adult shirt, so I don't want to risk getting flagged. So after we get the recording, we'll turn it back around and head to work. But baby, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. I have to be to work at six. So we need to get this going. A um, few things up first. Make sure you check out my previous video. I'll leave that above. That was my last get ready with me. Um, also, I had to split this up into three separate parts because there was just no way to get everything done at one time and that video not be over an hour long. And I just didn't want to overload myself knowing I just got back on. Another thing is please do not feel any type of way about me doing this many hauls because I try to tell y'all all the time. It may look like I'm living on um, trust fund or something like that, but baby, I have a job. I have to work for every dime that I get. And all of this was not purchased at one time. This is months and months and months of things that I've just collected and have not had the time to open because I really wanted to open them all on camera with you all. So if you see it and you be like, oh, that cost this, 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 baby, this was all purchased on sale. A lot of the things I even tagged you all on about about the sales, but we cannot get this going if we don't shut up and get everything turned off. And I'm sitting here looking like Torrance. Why are you feeling some type of way? Why is things weird? These lights behind me is just a flickering and blinking and they are not supposed to be doing that. That's the setting they supposed to be on right there. I didn't even notice that. Just plugging back in, but let's get into this. First off, simply because baby, Cake Face Cosmetics. I'm telling you all, I have been wanting this package for a while. This is the very first, first, first palette. Let me see actually where my phone is pulled up. Did I just press and go back to what I didn't want it to do? Let me turn this. Okay, we're going to leave the remote over here now. And I just want to make sure, because baby, we trying to hurry up and get this going. But I'm having brain fog this early in the morning, so let's go ahead and pull this up. Kick fake. Time the Infamous. I'm like, baby, I can't remember her name and save my life. If you ain't never heard of Time the Infamous, you probably ain't been on Beauty YouTube for quite a while. She was one of the OG makeup artists who was on there showing us how to do full coverage. She wasn't scared of color when it come to eyeshadow, when it come to hair, everything. And baby, when she said she was finally launching a line, if you thought she was going to be able to keep me off of it, it wasn't going to happen. And I'm sitting here looking like Torrance, you did not bring anything to open these boxes. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting here looking around for anything. Baby, give me one second. I'm just about to run off and I'll be right back. Okay, baby, here we go. We got something to get these open because I'm like, uh, honey, you're going to have a bunch of palettes that you're going to want to talk about. So let's get this going. And oh, baby, I'm going to be so upset with myself for not doing this earlier but it is what it is. First off, the box before I even show you all. Open it, she is sealed so you don't have to worry about anybody touching your package. But when you first get this open, look at this. Baby, she has that protective foam on the top so that things don't move. Stay caked up and you know I tell you all, I don't mind heavy cakey makeup. I love it, I live for it. But look at the packaging, honey. The Barbie movie is out, and this is truly giving me Barbie vibes, honey. Whether you, oh, she is truly nestled in there, so you got to make sure you pull her out. She is not just gonna fall. And truly, it makes me want to save that box. This is what the box looks like on the front, as well as the back here. It says cake face there. And we're just gonna get into this. And with a lot of this packaging, we might have to just toss it over here to the side just to make sure we're not running late. 
so that we can come back later and do that. Makeup, we're gonna put on the table right here. This is what the palette looks like on the outside. On the inside, we have 12 colors. There is a pressed glitter in this. As someone who loves glitters, I did not mind. I know a lot of you may not. She is an eyeshadow palette, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free. I'm reading that off the back right now. And baby, she offers you neutrals, but definitely offers you the colorful shades. And that is what I'm all after, honey. And I just can't wait to get into this palette. I know I'm going to be playing with it. It's just a matter of finding enough time to actually do a full tutorial with this palette. So... I got mad. Make sure y'all get y'all support Cake Face Cosmetics as well as Time to Infamous. Baby, because we got to support our OGs. Next up, what brand do we want to pull? The Lip Bar. You know, I absolutely love the Lip Bar. Another black female owned brand. And that is something I realized. For this particular haul, I pulled out all of the black female owned brands and then we're just going to work our way around. With the Lip Bar, they have come out with several new items. The first being their Color Shift Dual Chrome Liquid Eyeshadows. They have three of them. Um, I'm not sure which video I have. I'll try to leave that link right here above where I showed off their single shadows. They were just basic metallic um, neutrals. And I love those. I still have all of those. And with these, we have three shades. The first one is called Star Studded. Gonna open this one up. She looks like she has a, oh, she looks sort of like a rainbow, but I can see green and purple and red. Like, look at that there. Make sure it's a stick on here so I don't lose that, okay? This one here is Star Study. She is beautiful. Let's get to the side. Eclipse. Baby, this is going to probably be the most neutral of them all, but she is gorgeous to me. That green flip is always going to catch my attention. And last but certainly not least for those, the purple one. This one is called Supernatural. A lot of people are going to want this one. Look at the flip on that. Baby, she is stunning. We also have from the lip bar, this is the Good Vibes Soft Kisses Nourishing Lipstick. I believe they have discontinued their bullet lipstick. So if you did not get those... Baby, they were part of the, I believe, the either the original lineup or the second lineup. But I got those and I'm glad I did. They have switched over to this much slimmer and smaller bullet, which a lot of people may like. And I wanted something. <gasps> Baby, mine was twisted all the way up. Oh, no. Okay, so I may have to exchange this one because she has been mishandled, as you can see there. And I think that could have potentially been my fault because she did press right back down, which leads me to believe I might have had her held upside down because when I twist it, she's coming straight up and everything seems fine. But there is a little stain on the side. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Ain't no point of having that. So we may have to put this over here. And come clean that out later on because I do not want to leave a mess there. So I'm glad I have a microfiber cloth here so I can wipe that off my hands. But that is the Soft Kisses um, Nourishing Lipstick. And I can tell you that bullet is soft. So baby, we're going to put that to the side. Next up from the lip bar we have... I was too excited. I've been telling y'all for years. I have been trying to find the perfect blue eyeliner. Almost every single one I have ever tried was disappointing except the Island Teen one from the lip bar. It was a collab with Justine Sky. This is several years old and I refuse to get rid of it because she's the best one in my collection. I absolutely love it. I did not get the chance to get the Marc Jacobs one. And the other two that I just keep just for reference, this one from Urban Decay with Jean-Michel Basquiat never will be used. I never have tried it. Just because I'm a collector, I get it. And just because I love Rihanna, I have the one from Fenty Beauty. This one, I love, use all the time. The Fenty Beauty, I don't prefer it, but because it's Rihanna, I hold on to it. And because I love Jean-Michel uh, Basquiat, I'm never going to use that one. But all my other ones, I've been getting rid of. I'm going to be showing the declutter with the Goddess from Urban Decay. Both blues from Juvia's Place. What is this? 
Royal and Midnight Blue, they will be leaving because I don't need those. But let me tell you what the lip bar did. They didn't came out with a permanent blue eyeliner. And I'm sitting here looking at the color side by side like, baby, these look like they may almost be the same. The eyeliner team will look like she may be a bit darker. But when I tell you, I am excited to get into this. It comes with a free sharpener, which is like, I love eyeliners that need to be sharpened. I know some people prefer that pull up one, but I feel as if those dry out faster. And you can never have too many sharpeners, baby. Especially since nowadays they charge you for those. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna pull this out. because I want to see how close to this one this color looks. Yeah, and the Justine Sky one does look a little bit darker, but baby, if the formula is the same, I now have a blue that I can recommend to you all and I cannot wait. I also picked up the green one because you know, and I would drop it there. <laughs> I also picked up this green one here because green is my favorite. That blue one was called, let's look at it. She was called cool, Straight Coolin'. This green one is called Straight Chillin'. And these shades look like they'll be about a medium dark complexion. Let me slide back and grab this blue eyeliner before I forget she's down there. And we're gonna open this green one as well. Just so I can say I got her out of the packaging and I'm still looking down at the clock, baby. I want to try to be out of this house in about 15 minutes and I'm looking at all the stuff that I got to unpack and I'm not sure it's going to happen that way. Baby, that's going to be a scary drive to work. This green, yeah, she definitely looks a little lighter than what I would have preferred, but just because it's green, I definitely wanted to grab that. So we have this here. I'm going to put those sharpeners over and I think that may be all that we have in the lip bar. The next up we have is Sasha Cosmetics. I bought my Sasha Buttercup Light Setting Powder because I love mixing this with other powders for underneath the eye, especially if I feel as if it does not have a brightening enough effect. I know I can mix this in just for the color. And I remember telling you all a few weeks ago, I accidentally dropped my other powder down a flight of stairs. Most of the powder fell out of it and I was highly upset and for months, this powder has been out of stock. So I had to get me another jar and I got the Buttercup White, I got the Buttercup, the original colorless one, sold out before I can get a hold of it. So I'm sitting back by. I know a lot of people don't talk about the Buttercup powder because a lot of brands now have a banana powder. Even Fenty Beauty got one now, but she's just an OG. I love her and I always just like to have my favorites in stock. So we have those. We only have three brands left and I'm trying to work my way up from the smallest to the highest so I can hurry up and get this going. Another brand that I have never tried, but I, I've been waiting to get it. It's just that when they launch a new product, it sells out like that. And usually I'm not online to get it, but I found out they have some items on Amazon. So I grabbed two palettes from the crayon case. You all know, greens are my favorites. So I had to grab the green notepad palette. This is called the uh, green edition. Let me see if you can get this open here. And like I said, I, I'm going to always venture toward the green palette. If the brand has one, it doesn't matter what brand it is because that's just my favorite. We can look at the neutrals after that. We can look at the cool tones and other things, but that green palette, babe, get into this. And she has a little piece of plastic here. We can go ahead and knock that out. But look at this color story, honey. She is stunning. And the fact that it looks like it has more mattes than shimmers, I'ma look, six mattes, two shimmers. And if for any reason you wanna start off with things looking more neutral, you can start off with these more grungy shades and just pop one of those on, but you know I'ma use those up here. And right behind greens, honey, you know I love neutrals, but my favorite neutral of them all is black. So I had to get the black notepad, cause baby, what you can do is tell me I can do a grungy, smoky look, but I can't deepen up my crease or anything like that. And so I had to get the black notepad. Baby, let's get it. Ooh, this palette appears to have, we're gonna say, it looks like four true mattes, a matte with sparkles, and then three shimmers, maybe even one satin and two metallics, but baby, get into this 
cool it's more like neutral to cool tone but you see you have matte blacks you have shimmery blacks you have neutrals for your transition your crease things like that so i feel as if these two here it's like what is that palette the Mel Cosmetics Gemini all over again. Baby, whether I want to go professional, whether I want to go over the top and be an ogre swamp monster, I can do both with these two palettes. And I believe this series has either six or eight palettes, but I had to grab these two for myself just to make sure I had them. And if I love the quality of those, I'll grab the others. If not, we'll grab some of her larger palettes. Next up, a brand you all have been waiting for. You all have been asking. Everybody been saying, when are you finally going to try them out? And that is Plan and Makeup by Yolando, honey. I got one, two, three, four palettes here. And I bought these during a half off sale. If you all remember when I posted that, you all know how long ago I've had these. And so we're just going to get into them. This first one here is called Paint Me Chrome Palette. And this is the number one palette that I wanted from the brand. And I believe this is also the most expensive palette that they have. And the reason I did not initially get it is because I believe they consider this their like duo chrome, multi chrome palette. And once again, she was the most expensive. I'm not sure how much she was, but I'm like to pay that much and not get any mats. I'm not sure about that, sis. But when they put her on half off, I didn't even care. I said, I got to get her. And look at the color variety on her, honey. Look at the shift. Look at the shine on these. I can tell this palette is going to be beautiful. I'm somebody who's not scared of an all shimmer look, so I can go straight in and do this. But as someone with hooded lids, I do prefer to go in with my mattes first. So baby, I had to grab another palette from the brand just to make sure when I go in and test out these shimmers, I'm going to like what I'm going to get. The thing is, before we did that, we had to pull up one of her Glitter Obsessions palette. This is Glitter Obsessions 2. I don't think I ever got a hold to one. I think one sold out before I could get it. But I love glitter. I understand most glitters are not considered eye safe. That ain't gonna stop nothing. And I'm somebody who's just here for the sparkle the glimmer, the gleam, and I know a lot of y'all don't like it. I know a lot of YouTubers refuse to use glitters. One of my favorites, Nick, um, I was about to say Nikki Tutorials now. I was watching her yesterday. But Teresa is dead, she'll tell you, she's not touching a glitter. She don't care how pretty it is. Ooh, baby, that's a big old chunky glitter right there. A piece of that one just came on. But baby, get into this palette here because she is sparkling and she is beaming. Try not to blind y'all with the light, but look at the texture on these. Oh my goodness. The one that just had some fallout was this one here, but she appears to be the biggest, largest, and chunkiest of the shades. And it was because part of the plastic had pressed down on it. So that's why some of it had come out. But baby, I would be deadly afraid to ever drop this palette because these are some big old chunks of glitter. And I'm excited about it. Y'all don't even understand the fact that we got a white and a black one in this palette. Several greens? Like, are you kidding me, sis? I'm going to be all over this palette, so I cannot wait to get into her. We're going to pull this to the side and we're going to make sure we set you down very firmly so that she don't fall. Let me move this out of the way because, baby... Can't afford to risk getting no glitter falling in nowhere. Pull this over to the set. I'm trying to just get that one piece here. Now let me get that in the trash right now. Because glitter will leave a mess. Next up we have, oh, I figured if I was going to get some neutrals and I needed something that I could possibly use with that glitter palette and that chrome palette, Browns and Nudes by Yolando. This had to be it. I knew I was going to need this one. I knew I was going to want this one. Baby, the outside says they're two and a half grams each. More than enough product. The outside packaging is basic, which is what we needed because I need to know. This is going to be that professional palette. And baby, wait till y'all see this on the inside. As soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, baby, dark skinned women are going to love this neutral palette. Get into this. Now you all know, 
I prefer either true neutrals or cool tone neutrals. But these warm neutrals, baby, I am loving it because none of them look like that over the top, like for me, warm shades just, they just, I, I say they just too basic, but it's something about doing a full glam look, a neutral eye that just says soft and beautiful. And I'm not gonna lie, ever since I've been back to work and wearing more neutrals, the men and the women been loving it, baby. I don't mind doing a green eye and a bold red lip every day, but I understand that can be over the top. That can be saying, hey, look at me. With this, this is back and this just says, I'm soft, I'm beautiful, I'm me. And baby, you gonna love it. And I cannot wait to get into these because you have some red tones, you have some mauve tones, you have some pink tones, and you have some grungy neutral. You're like, look at this yellow tone one here. I would love that. You got your golds, you got your bronzes, you got your coppers. You... She's beautiful. And the fact that I won't have to reach outside of this palette, even though they got their darker shades, and we have more than one dark option besides a black. We have more than one light option, matte or shimmer. I, I got to just give y'all a closer look at this. Like, look at this palette, baby. The only thing I think they could have did better with this palette was giving them actual shade names, but that ain't gonna stop nothing. We gonna get into it, and I know I'm gonna use this palette with that Glitter Obsessions just to pull off a full look, but the last one from Playing and Makeup by Yolando that I got, because I'm sitting back like, I mean, the glitter is colorful, but she all shimmer. That chrome is colorful, but she all shimmer, and that other one is all neutral. I need something that's gonna bring me color with the matte and the shimmer. And out of all of those that I saw, the Relentless palette was the one. First off, I had no, I had no idea this box was this beautiful. Like, this is giving me the artist vibes, baby. I think he would have loved this box. They all should have did the collab instead of Urban Decay. We're gonna put this over here to the side. And it says 36, okay, baby, let's get into it. Let's see what she's talking about because I honestly don't remember what she looks like. Yes, ma'am, now it's coming to me. I see why I picked this one up because I love me greens. I love me a rainbow palette. And if I wanted some colorful mattes, look at her. Baby, the amount of colorful mattes in this palette, plus those huge pans of those metallics on the end. Oh my goodness. Greens and purples are my favorites and they're there. I love using yellow as a transition shade. But we got our pinks. We got neutrals. We have blues that you all love. And these shifty shades over here, I'm not sure if you all can see the shift, but in person, it's much easier to tell. They are gorgeous. And I cannot wait. I think out of all four palettes, even though that chrome palette was the one that initially caught my eye, now that I have them in my hand, this is the one that has my heart just based off looks. And I can't wait to get into her. So we're going to put this down over here and we're going to make sure she sat down because I cannot risk her fall. And before we go to this next segment, we're just going to restart our clock because I do not want to risk this stopping while we're recording. So we're going to press stop and come right back. Okay, we are back and we have, oh, I didn't forget another one, baby. I did not see this little bitty free one sitting back here. This is why you got to make sure you pay attention. This was the free gift with purchase. This is called the Upward Palette, and this is by Planet uh, Makeup by Yolando, and I completely forgot this was in here. Once again, free purchase, so it wasn't something that I was like, oh, hurry up and get it here. It was a surprise in the box. And to me, this sort of looks like one of the five pan palettes by Natasha Denona. Now, the color story is quite interesting because even though I tell you all, greens and purples are my favorites, I'm not sure if I would have ever had the creativity to put this color story together. The four greens on one end look fabulous, but that pop of purple is like, hmm, how would you use this, Torrance? Because I could easily see how I would use the other ones, but it makes you want to go, let's test our creativity, pull out our brushes and see how it's going to go. So this is um, the, what did I say it was? The Upward Palette by 
Plan and Makeup by Yolanda. We're just gonna come back up, give you one more quick look and put this to the side because I completely forgot that was coming. And I'm not sure if I told you all how many brands I had, but I completely forgot is it's not one left, it is two left. The last two is first Juvia's Place and then Pat McGrath. For Juvia's Place, I already told you all I had this coming because I showed you when I picked it up. I have the Culture 2 palette. I grabbed this because you know I have all of the Juvia's Place palettes. I like to collect them and I wasn't going to let this be any different. I believe I have a tutorial up for Culture 1. If I do, I'll leave it linked here. If not, my apologies, but you already know. Juvia's Place kills it with the packaging and usually on the inside, the palette looks just the same. And that's what we have here. So we'll get her over there. Give you all a closer look of this packaging. This is one of their larger palettes. And although I love the Juvia's Place formula, I'm not gonna lie. I am truly missing those nine pan palettes where the pans were big enough to use as face powders, but get into this color story here. Now, no lie, the first two rows of greens is what sold it to me. The other four, they are okay, but they didn't even need those for me. These two rows is perfect. And yeah, honestly, if you throw this bottom row right here across in with it, I would have been good. But I was not gonna let a Juvia's Place launch come through and I not get it because Juvia's Place is the type where some palettes may stick around, some are gone as soon as they sell out and then they don't restock, so I don't risk it. And I wanted to make sure I pulled that one out because I know I'm gonna be giving away this Juvia's Place palette here. I'm putting this in the declutter. I keep saying I'm gonna give it away, but I already repurchased this and it made sure that by pulling some items out to give away, I can have these items put up on the shelf and no longer just sitting over here on the side. Also, for the powder foundation, I felt as if the powder that I had from them was a little too dark. I did do a tutorial with it. I'll leave that linked right here. But I went in and got a lighter shade. I now have the shade Havana Medium 2. This is what the box looks like. I keep forgetting you got to cover your face with this one. And the foundation was okay. It was just I figured if I was going to keep it, I might as well have the right shade. I really do prefer their liquid version that came out as the same time as this one, but I can use this powder foundation. And so I wanted to have it in the right shade, not something that's too dark, even though summer is here, she will be out of the way real soon. And to go with those, I finally picked up some of the lip glosses. I believe this was from either the candy shop or yeah, I think these were part of the Candy Shop collection. When they initially dropped, they were full price. And I'm like, I have more than enough glosses, let alone from Juvia's Place. But at half price, I just couldn't pass them up. So I have these three and I'm looking down. My clock is saying, you got to get out of here real fast. The first one we have is Choco Milo. She has this brownish swirl here. The second one I have is Neapolitan. Make sure you all see that. I want to make sure I cover this up. This is Neapolitan. And then the last one is the one I wanted the most, Pineapple Pearl. I'm going to hold these for you all like this. And top to bottom, Choco Milo, Neapolitan, and then Pineapple Pearl. Just so you can see the color difference in those. And I just got a peep at the clock. It's like, baby, you got to get out of here real, real fast. So let me hurry up and get this going. Last brand, Pat McGrath, the largest of the bunch. I love Pat McGrath and have to have them all. So let's show you what we got first. This was on sale. This was the holiday palette, I believe, from last year. This is Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. You know, this is the largest palette that Pat McGrath does is her holiday palettes. And I believe it's also uh, for like price per value per shadow, also your best bet, uh, bang for your buck. But she's also the cardboard packaging and not that lacquer one that we love. But if you want to step into Pat McGrath, this is the way to get the most shades per palette. And inside, I believe she's a 15 pan. Oh, an 18 pan. <laughs> Excuse me. Baby, get into this. 
Now the thing is, this is the palette that everyone begged for. We've been begging Pat McGrath for colorful shades because Pat McGrath is known for her neutrals, especially her pinks and golds. But I got this one because you finally gave us a matte green and I had to have it. The thing is, we begged for color, Pat McGrath gave us color, and this palette I don't believe had the best sales or the best reviews. So we might not get color again for a while. I'm hurt, but it is what it is. Next up, we have the mini eyeshadow palette. This is Sublime Smoke. This is one of her smaller six pan palettes. Um, I believe she's about $25, $29. And with these, I believe they have like either five or six repeating shades, but I just had to have this little bitty thing, honey. I collect them all and the idea of having such a small compact one that I could travel with sounded adorable. This is what she looks like in the packaging. She is beautiful. She is stunning. But then we have to get inside and look at this little bit. Oh my goodness. I am quite sure if you are a neutral lover, this is the one for you. And she's really small, like look compared to my face, how tiny she is. But I had to have it simply because she's Pat McGrath. Ain't no point of lying. The next up for our smaller palettes, we have two of them. First up, we have, uh, what is this called? Divine Bronze Luxe Quad Venetian Sunrise. This is what this packaging looks like. This is one of her quads. And lately she's been doing a whole lot more of these. And I'm like, okay, I ain't mad. It's just, I prefer the motherships. The reason I like these is because they do have the black lacquered packaging. It's just that these do not have the gold embellishments on them that I prefer on the motherships. And so we just gonna have to just deal. But on the inside, four more neutral shades. And I think this may be even more gorgeous in person than it was online. You all know I prefer the neutral to cool tones. She's stunning. She is gorgeous. And although this shade to me looks a little more warm, she's beautiful. So I know I'm going to want to play with that one. This next one is the Luxe Eyeshadow Quad and Passion Floor. Oh, excuse me, I had a hiccup. Luxe Eyeshadow Quad Passion Floor. And this one has the pink packaging. Anytime Pat McGrath changes up the color of the packaging, it's going to grab attention. You see the black compared to that pink, same size. But of course, on the inside, we can probably expect a much more pink color story. So we're going to pull this here and see what we get. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. She honestly still looks a lot more neutral than I expected. But you can see how these shades definitely have a much more pink tone to them. So although I have her, I'm probably not going to be quite as excited to use this one as the other one. Do we have any other small items from Pat McGrath? Next up, we have the three Star Wars palettes. You can see my boxes got bent up. And baby, this was a hassle to get because I believe some were available at Sephora and some were available on Pat McGrath. So... I tried to buy from Sephora to get my points, but I had to go to Pat McGrath to get one of these palettes. And we're just going to open them all up, starting off with the, the golden one. That's this one here. And these are five pan palettes. I missed out on that first Star Wars collection. I believe I have all of her palettes instead of those two six pans. I couldn't get them, baby. I didn't try to, and they were just too much to go after. This is the neutral one first. I believe these sold out really fast, but I'm hoping they can bring all 15 of these shades back in a holiday palette. This is what that looks like. And I'm trying to hurry up because, baby, I got about five minutes to be up out of this house. So I'm looking down at this clock trying to rush. This one here is called Divine Droid. I believe this is the one everybody was after. Like, this is the one that you could not find. Let me turn it this way. You had to fight, beg, and plead to get this bad boy. And once I open it, you're going to see exactly why. She sold out before all of them. Before all of them. I even had to get mine secondhand off of a friend, which is why she has swatches here. Because I did not have time to get a hold of it. But she didn't like it. She didn't want to keep it. So I'm like, baby, you can pass the Cavassier. I will take it. You can give me that. Last up, we have Sith Seduction. 
I believe this was the first one I was able to get my hands on. I have her here. And I'm like, I like the outer packaging of this one the best. But I think the color story on the inside, yeah, this one is all shimmer too, but these are much more neutral tones. So this is what the palette looks like. But once you get inside, you can see that we have this here. And she's much more neutral than the other one. And that's those. What else do we have? We have five more palettes and two other items. We have two more five pan palettes. This one here is called Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette Bronze Bliss. I believe this one might have been from Holiday as well, but baby, I haven't had the time to get around to it. This is the box. This is what the packaging looks like here. And she's a cool tone, neutral color story. So baby, she looks fabulous and I heard nothing but good things about this one. So I can't wait to get into it. This next one is the warmer of the two. This is called Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette Nude Allure. Nude Allure has me thinking we're going to have some warm tones, even without knowing what's inside. And of course, that's what's going to be in here. Let's see, the box has a much more pale nude color to it. And once we get on the inside, what do we have? A warmer pinky neutral color story. And you know, Pat McGrath loves her pinks and her gold, so of course, we wasn't going to get a whole collection without them. The last three palettes are palettes that I initially thought I would truly just pull out, grab, and use immediately, but I have not had the chance to. This is all three from the Love Collection, and just like with the Star Wars, some was available at Sephora, some were not. This first one is called Mothership Iconic Infatuation. All of them have this box here, so I'm only going to show the box to this one. And then once you get inside, I'm looking down, baby, I got three minutes and three palettes. This one here has a much more pinky color story, so iconic infatuation. Six pan pink palette, so if you like pinks, you'll go after this one. Next up, we have the palette for Sublime Seduction. Usually when I hear Sublime, I usually love that from Pat McGrath. This one here is a warm neutral color story. So if you prefer warms, Sublime Seduction is the one, matte and shimmers. And last but certainly not least, I believe this one is the one that has all those mattes that we were excited for. This one is called Velvet Liaison. And Velvet makes me think of matte textures, so I'm glad she did that. And baby, this one here, oh yes, all, all six of them are matte. So get into that. Imagine being able to pull this palette out anytime you want to pay with a, play with the Pat McGrath uh, Shimmer Shadow. You have that there. The last two items they sent were free gifts with purchases. This first one is a mascara sample. This is called the Fetish Eyes Mascara. And I'm going to be upset with myself if I open this. This is just a sample. And you know mascaras, once you open them, that expiration date starts. So I don't want to open this tube until I do a mask, I mean an eyeshadow tutorial with Pat McGrath. But with one minute left, we are going to show off this last thing. This is a mini matte trance lipstick in the shade Fever Dream. Oh, look how cute she is with her little embossing. Okay, Pat McGrath. And this shade here looks like, oh, a nice red tone neutral. She's like a pinky, ready orange tone. So she is beautiful, but I need to head out the door before I am late. I love you all. I'm gonna have to clean this up when I get home, but remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until the next haul, honey, goodbye everyone. Mm -hmm.